And hello, students. Professor Peter Gregory here with you here. Uh, I'm making a quick video here to bring you in on the final report. There's a couple of moving parts to this. And what I've been doing is trying to simplify things so you can just step into the final report and get it done uh, without having to look around for too many things. If you go to E-Class here, um, I've clicked on the last tab that we have here for final report. And uh, what I've done here is if you scroll down, I've added in a number of elements, I guess you would call them, for the final report. So it's all about the final report in here, basically, but these new blue lines here are, are what I've added. And so the first thing to download, and I'm going to do it here online so you can see it work and know what to do. Uh, you're going to download, this is just screen grabs of case of the case from chapter 10, okay? So I just took uh, screen grabs and created a Word document for it. So let's pop that open. I'm kind of checking to make sure everything's flowing pretty well here in itself. So this comes right from your e-text. You can go on to connect and you can go to the end of chapter 10 and you will see this case there. And I know it's a little bit small text uh, that you see in here, but that is what we get when we do screenshot the way that I did it, okay? So that's the first document we want. Let's go back over to, uh, go back over to E-Class. And by the way, you know, for this file, uh, take a read through it a couple times and uh, it'll start getting under control with a little bit of help from what I'm going to give you here, okay? Uh, we're going to try to keep all the loose ends tightened up here, okay? So this has to do with forecasting from cha uh, Chapter 10 as it is, okay? Now, I um, need to tweak a few things here in the instructions and rubrics to make sure that it flows well for everybody. So I will be putting that up. If you click on this right now, you're just going to get a dummy file. I just have it up there so later today I can put it up. Uh, then we have a key to the templates needed for each of the final report questions. This is a very short file, but it's key. That's why I named it key, all right? So what you want to do is download this and keep it handy. Okay, so you might even take a screenshot of this and put it into, uh, I guess, maybe into your Excel files, which I'll talk about in a second here. So for each of the questions here, the way it's structured, uh, the case is structured, is uh, we have question kind of like A with some numbers underneath it, B with some numbers underneath it, and C with some numbers underneath it. And then the D is, is your uh, wrap up. Okay, it's going to be making sense of all this. Okay, so that's the case in a nutshell. You want to have this around because in green here, it says the number one template for seasonal factors. So you'll see when I, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download and unzip the Excel files. And I've named them for you. I actually went in to every file and uh, made this key so that you know which one to use for which question. Okay, so that should make your life a little bit easier. Uh, so when we get to the list, you'll understand. It says the number one template, two, three, four, five, it runs through six, seven, eight, nine. And when it gets to 10, there's two questions in a row that use it. So that's not a mistake. Uh, they're both uh, part of a linear regression template there. And these come, you probably have access to all these files yourself because they're a, an asset or I guess that's what you call an asset uh, for what you bought. And these are the go along files for everything in the book. Okay. And there is one case here, uh, which they did not give us, which I'm going to have to create. Uh, it was not in our set of files here. And so uh, it, most of what we're looking at uh, has to do with this thing called MAD. The mean absolute deviation is, is somewhat of an error check from forecast to actual. And you're going to be seeing that a lot in the questions here, but I'm going to guide you into that. And as I mentioned, uh, the last thing is that you're going to make some managerial conclusions and recommendations. Okay. So that's that file. Now, uh, as we're doing this, I'm bringing them, these drop down right into my download folder. So that's, I'm on a PC. So wherever you keep your things, you may want to end up moving it over to one final reports folder. So you have everything in one place as part of some organization there. So finally, here is uh, the zip file of 10 Excel files. I'm going to click that. It's a zip file. It comes down. I'm showing you this on the PC. I'm not really familiar with how to do it on a Mac, but if you have problems, let me know. Okay, so what it, when, when something like a zip file comes down, what I do in, in Windows is I right-click it, okay, so I right-click it here, and I want to show it in folder. So I, this is my, uh, my downloads folder, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unzip it right here, but you probably want to move it to your final reports wherever it is, okay? So I'm going to right-click it. This is what you want to do. You want to right 
right click your zip file and in Windows, if you haven't loaded any other kind of zip software, the, the, there's a um, resident Windows application for extract all. And when I do that, what it tries to do is put it, it's going to create a folder right here in downloads named the Excel used in final report. It will create a folder there and put them in there. I'm just going to do that here. But as I mentioned, you can move this to the right place for you, wherever that final um, report folder is that you use. Okay. So, all right. So I, I'm just going to take the default that we have here and I'm going to extract. Okay. Extract of a zip. Okay. And it's smart enough that what it did was it ran me into the Excel used in final report folder. And as I mentioned, here's your number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're all there. Okay. And uh, I've mapped it. So these, these numbers, uh, re reflect this file here. Okay, so this file that you're looking at here would be uh, which of these templates that we have. So they have numbers in them. Okay, so let's, what you want to do is when you unzip it right away, you know, there's a little pre prelim information or prelim steps here for you to do to make sure everything's running right. So let's open um, template uh, for the seasonal factors. Okay, so I'm going to double click that and it's opening up here. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And it should look like this. Now, these are not the values from our problem. These are template files that we're given. So we're going to end up having to edit in here and make it work for us. Okay. But you should, as soon as you unzip, you should make sure that it comes in right to keep continue working in Windows on this. I definitely have to uh, enable editing. So when you're looking at this oh, file, wow. what you want to do is you want to save these uh, at least in an original form at least once. And uh, what I'm going to do is I have it and... Uh, I do not have it maximized on my screen here. What you're going to do is create the file that you're going to turn in. So don't use these as your uh, work files, okay? And this is what you're going to turn in. So you're going to click on the uh, add another. I just clicked on adding another file here. So I have a clean new book in Excel. And in Windows, what I can do is I can take this and just click it against the left-hand side. And it's asked me, what should I open up on the right-hand side? You can pick whatever you want. On the right-hand side, I've got the... I've got the file that I just unzipped. And what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, this tab and you can just drag it over here and drop it in. It will automatically close that other file. Okay, so it's it's not here, but if you go over to your directory, it's still there, it didn't go away, all right? And so here I probably would get rid of my sheet one. You just right click on that and this is to clean it up. You don't need that. Okay, so we started in there with seasonal factors and for each of the of these files, I'll do one again, I'll do the other one here. So this is the second file. Put them into your file, into your own file in order, okay? So again, I have to just get these things lined up a little better. Let's do this one more time. There we go. Okay, so this is the file, remember on the left, that you're going to turn in. So I can grab this tab and I can just move it right over. Oh, I should be able to move it right over. There we go. And why is it going? Oh, I have to unprotect it. Unprotect it. <laughs> to do it again. There we go. Okay, so now after you unprotect it, then you can drag it over, drop it in, and uh, make sure that you get these in order here. Okay, so you just work from one to the next to the next to the next. Okay, there we go. So these templates, if you read the, what do they call it, the forward part of the forward matter or early matter in the book, all those pre things before the chapters start, you will have read that. Uh, there are the, the, the techniques from this book are to show you skill wise how to execute. Uh, we don't get too much into the underlying derivatives of how some of these things work. And these templates they provide are, you know, actually useful in industry. You'd end up taking these out. You could actually use these from what you learned on. And then when you start applying this, you can actually use these templates. So that the idea here is that uh, they've given us a lot of work tools so we don't have to laboriously make them. It would take forever to do that. All right. So uh, now I would take this file, I'm going to maximize it on my screen, and I'm going to save this as file, save as. What are we going to save this as? As you know, we're going to make sure you name it correctly so that uh, when I'm grading, everything goes really smoothly. So I'm going to throw it right on my desktop, and I'm going to name it uh, you know, 99 Peter Gregory, uh, what do we say, final report. Final report is fucking good enough. Very good. Good. Yeah, that, that should work. If you want to add an MGT5080 in there, just so you remember what it is, that's fine. Something like that, that's fine. There you go. And I'm just going to save it. And that's the one from which we're going to continue. You were going to 
continue to work from. Okay, so now this is the one that will end up having uh, 10, 10 tabs. I do not think we have to create anything except maybe that one that I showed you uh, that was not provided. So we might have to create one more sheet. I will give you guidance on that through video or other means, and I expect to have that done in the next uh, probably 12 hours. Thanks very much, and uh, enjoy your day.